Hello, mi gente, and welcome back to Neta Knows Best. So today, we are making a 4th of July trifle. It's pretty much a layered dessert that has layers of angel food cake, different types of berries, specifically red and blue, and then a delicious whipped topping. It's super easy to make, and it's perfect for the summer. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with our whipped topping component that goes in between each layer. So for that topping, we're gonna need one pound of cream cheese, which is two sticks, and this is softened cream cheese. Next, I'm going to add our sugar. And as a reminder for full ingredients and measurements, I will be linking this recipe in my website, which is nethanosbest.com. Next, I'm going to add my heavy cream. To our delicious creamy topping, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, which is super classic in this recipe. But to switch it up, because we are in summer, I figured let me also add a teaspoon of coconut extract. Give it a quick whisk. Okay, and our whipped cream topping is done. Now I'm gonna work on the strawberries for our trifle. The strawberries are the red component that really give this that red, white, and blue color. So most recipes just add these strawberries raw, but I like the idea of making them macerated. So to my strawberries, I'm going to add some lemon juice along with some sugar. And I'm just gonna toss them so they can start releasing their natural juices. This is really gonna give some sauciness to our strawberries. So once we start creating our layers, they're just going to seep into the angel food cake and give this trifle so much flavor. So this 4th of July trifle is actually a no-bake recipe. As I mentioned, it's typically made with angel food cake. Now, you can go ahead and be ambitious and make angel food cake from scratch, but I figured since the summer is here and usually people want a very quick dessert that they can just throw together and that's gonna taste super delicious, I'm using store-bought angel food cake. Now that we've finished preparing our individual components, it's time to assemble our trifle. So if you're wondering where I got this beautiful trifle dish, it's actually not a trifle dish. It's the cover of the angel food cake. So when I bought the angel food cake in the grocery store, it came with a top that I figured would be a really great bowl to reuse. As you guys can see, I already have one layer of angel food cake that I've cubed. And to this topping, I'm going to add our whipped cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this on. Don't mind any of the messiness. Next, I'm going to add our layers of fruit. So you can start with a mixture of fruit like I have here. And make sure to actually place it around the edges so when you're looking at the trifle on the side, you can see those beautiful layers that we've created. All right, so I just completed one portion of the trifle. So I'm gonna start again from the beginning. I'm gonna add more cake pieces, and then I'm gonna to top it with our whip topping, and then of course, our red layer. So I'm gonna add the macerated strawberries. This is gonna be so good. And the great thing about this recipe, and it's something that's probably my favorite thing about this recipe, you can make personalized portions for your family so you don't have to make one giant bowl of a trifle. All right, mi gente, so I decided to fast forward and just show you the end result. This is a personalized portion that I made. Remember, it. that's one of my favorite parts of this recipe. And just look at those layers. So the best way to eat this is to drag your spoon all the way down to the bottom to grab a full, full portion of everything. This is a huge bite. Wow. 
Mm. Wow. That's delicious. Another thing that I love about this recipe is that we macerated our strawberries. You can go ahead and use basic raw strawberries that you just cut up and added to the trifle, but why not elevate those flavors and macerate them in their natural juices along with a touch of lemon juice. It really just enhances everything and makes this no bake 4th of July trifle one of the best desserts that you can make for your family this summer. Mm, okay. I'm gonna have to put this down, because if not, I'll never finish my outro. If you guys liked this recipe, I will be adding it to my Nata Knows Desserts playlist. Like you guys know, this is a playlist that's dedicated to all of my favorite desserts that you can make during the summer or even some of my favorite fall desserts. So go ahead and check that playlist out. Stay tuned for next week for another delicious recipe. And as a reminder to everyone, if you guys are looking for my recipes that have full instructions, all of them will be posted on my website, which is natanosbest.com. Go ahead and check that out. And lastly, as always, mi gente, Thank you so much for watching. Nata knows best.